Hello, everybody, and good morning. Welcome to Ironing. Uh, welcome along to Monday Morning Melodies. I nearly got caught out there, didn't I? Ah, oh, dear. I thought here I was thinking I was starting my Friday live stream, and it's my Monday live stream. Good morning, everybody. Welcome along to Monday Morning Melodies. You're with Mike Baker, and I'm going to be here with you for the next hour. Just laying some music on you. That's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a little bit of music for movement, a little bit of music for just listening and enjoyment, and a little bit of music for a bit of a sing. Because here at Monday Morning Melodies, we like to get our week off with a bit of a song in our heart. It's uh, good advice for starting the week. I see I've got a visitor in this morning. Hello there, Connie. Connie is uh, one of our regulars. And it's always nice to have Connie along. Uh, Connie um, has jumped into the comments section there, which you're most welcome to do too. If you've got a device handy and you're tuned in this morning, it'd be very nice to know that you felt that you could just uh, let us know you're out there. We'd love to acknowledge that you're out there. Okie doke. Well, you know, I'm looking outside today and about half an hour ago I was looking at a sunny day in Goulburn Town, and it's clouded over. We had a bit of early rain this morning too, and uh, I imagine the sun's going to come out. It's only, only 10.30. So uh, we're hoping that things are going to push along there, and we might, might have a nice week ahead of us. I need to acknowledge all those people who are tuning in from care facilities today. If you're in an aged care, um, a residential care, if you're in community care, or you might have, um, you might be at home, you might get home-based care, uh, you may just be out in the community, um, you might just have the, you know, the Facebook turned on this morning, and just be out there pottering around the house. We'd love to have you along. We like to start our day with a little bit of um, an opportunity for some stretching. And the kind of stretching that we've been doing in the last two or three weeks has involved stretching ourselves, I hope I'm not making you seasick by moving from side to side, by shifting our weight from left to right. Some people with a bit more mobility, they'll be able to move around like they're uh, waltzing because that's what a three, four rhythm gives us. It gives us a waltz time, like this kind of thing. You can hear one, two, three, can't you? One, two, three, one, two, three. Well, to get us started today with our, with our stretching, um, here is a tune, beautiful tune that moves in three, four. You're welcome to join us and move along. You're welcome to just have a sit and a listen. This is... Um, the theme from Dr. Zhivago, sometimes called Somewhere My Love. Thank you. 
Maurice Jarre's uh, beautiful waltz time melody called Somewhere My Love, uh, also called Lara's Theme. Lara was the um, female, the main female character in the story of Dr. Zhivago. Omar Sharif, I'm remembering, I think Omar Sharif played Dr. Zhivago. Someone out there will know if I'm wrong, but I suspect I'm pretty close to being on the money with that one. Look, we're still doing a bit of a move. Here's one that's a good one if you've got the socks on and you're up and you're, you know, up in the lounge room or the kitchen or somewhere like that, because this is a good one for moving to. Maybe if you're bed bound, you know, it might be a good one to um, just practice shifting a bit of weight anyway. And it's also a good one for getting those shoulders moving. We accumulate a lot of tension and stress in our shoulders. And if we can circ uh, circle them forwards and backwards, you'll actually feel the tension and the stress dissipating from that area because you'll feel the tingles. You'll feel the tingles as you do that. And you can do the same thing, of course, with rotating your head. Only what's comfortable. And going back the other way too. Always like to do any routine that I work, stretching routine or what have you. Always like to do it the opposite way. Um, if you're going to do this arm forward, you might go forward four times and then you might go backward four times. I tend to think that's a good idea. Alrighty. Let's, um, let's up the pace a little bit here on Monday Morning Melodies this morning. Let's have a little bit of a tune that moves with a bit more of a, a steady step. Here we go. Uh... in it, the Alley Cat. That tune was called Alley Cat and um, I can very easily picture the, um, the cat walking along the top of the paling fence with its tail in the air, sniffing the breeze. Very good. Very good. Okay, well let's plug on. I've got a little melody here that I like to play. It's called Cherry Pink and Apple Blossom White. And uh, oftentimes when I'm playing this, I find myself 
meandering into another tune or two. So keep your ears open and let's see where we go in the middle of this one. Cherry Pink and Apple Blossom White, we found our way into Never on a Sunday. Did you pick that one up? I think maybe Greek, maybe a Greek melody. May have been, it's got um, something about the Greek melodies. They have that uh, distinctive thing about them. I think you can say the same too about a lot of Italian and French melodies. They all they all picked up their pick up their regional flavour, don't they? Just like they have regional um, cuisines, they also know how to. It's almost like they get an accent into the music. I don't know how that's done. Maybe you've got to be born Italian or Greek or French to have an appreciation of how to do that. Okay, got a little bit of a bluesy one for you now. Um, the tune is called the Swing and Shepherd Blues. And the Swing and Shepherd is this little cool guy, I imagine, with a, a pipe. And uh, he's out there in the paddock. And he gets a little bit tired of just, you know, keeping track of the sheep and whoever. And um, this, this Swing and Shepherd, anyway, decides to get a little bit bluesy with the uh, melodies that he plays out there on top of the hill. And that's his tune. You'll hear it come up.
Blues by way of Bonnie and Clyde. Remember that Georgie fame hit from the 1960s? And um, snuck a little bit of the St. Louis Blues in there too. Another little groovy thing you might have heard a little bit of called Easy Does It. That's what we're doing this morning. We're doing things easily. Now I've neglected this morning to uh, mention my hello to the carers, all the uh, folks who take good care of us. And uh, they do a very special job and they do it very well, don't they? Uh, and I also need to acknowledge too that this Monday Morning Melodies program comes to you in association with the Hume Conservatorium. We come to you from Goulburn, New South Wales, where, just looking outside, we haven't got that sun back yet. It's clouded over a fair bit, and it's looking a little bit cool, actually. Anyway, hopefully you're somewhere behind the glass or inside, and you're nice and warm and toasty. So, anyway, what was I saying? We come to you in association with the Hume Conservatorium from Goulburn, New South Wales as part of the uh, Conservatorium's outreach program to, to get ourselves out there into the community and to be serving a role in the community. So I imagine that getting us off to a good start to the week is uh, not a bad service to provide. All right, let's, um, let's have a little bit of a change up here. A tune called The, um, the Birth of the Blues. We had the Swing and Shepherd Blues, and I know Connie's out there and she likes a little bit of the blues. This is a tune, it's not actually a blues tune, but it tells the story of um, one person's opinion on how the blues got started. Yeah, what's happened here? Okay, what's happened to our... We might just have to do a little bit. Oh, we might just do, excuse me for a moment, folks. I've just got to do a little bit of adjusting to this keyboard here. Every now and then, I'll hit the wrong button on it. And um, I love this keyboard, but do you know one thing about it? It's, uh, it's got black, <laughs> it's got a black front panel and the writing's in gray. And do you think it's easy to read? Not on your Nelly. Let's try that again, see if we can get to where we need to be. That's sounding a bit better. Okay. The Birth of the Blues.
frail and they used it as a part of the blues now from a with the will high on a hill they took a new note then they pushed it through a horn till it was worn into a new note and then they nursed it they rehearsed it and they gave out the news that the Southland gave birth to the blues. That the Southland gave birth to the blues. Birth of the blues. Great old chin. And uh, speaking of great old tunes, this one. Not as old as some of the others. This is only from the 1960s, this one. But it's got a rather nice melody. else in sight there's nobody else 
and I'm feeling good just holding you tight. Oh, listen very carefully, closer now, and you will see what I mean. It isn't a dream. The only sound that you will hear is when I whisper in your ear, I love you. There's a kind of hush all over the world tonight, all over the world, and I'm feeling good just holding you tight. It was a hit for Herman's Hermits back in the 1960s. And a uh, nice, nice little ditty. It's been um, reheated a few times, that song, over the years. And uh, a very good and useful song it is, because most people seem to remember it. They mightn't have heard it since the 1960s, but they still remember it from the 1960s, which is not a bad way to end up, is it? Um, I was thinking we might have a little bit of uh, what I heard on the weekend, actually. By the Turtles. There was Herman Sermons. There was the Turtles, weren't there? There were all sorts of crazy names back there in the 60s. I think the Beatles had a lot to do with kicking off, kicking it off, didn't they? Uh, anyway, their music was wonderful, and uh, what great names that some of those groups had there too. The Turtles had this one. I think about you day and night It's only right to think about the girl you love And hold her tight, so happy together If I should call you up, invest a dime You say you belong to me and ease my mind Imagine how the world could be so very fine So happy together Nobody but you for all my life When you're with me, baby, the skies will be blue For all my life Me and you, and you and me No matter how they toss the dice, it had to be The only one for me is you, and you for me So happy together song they had two lead singers out the front and uh, they were quite a group for the vocal harmonies vocal harmonies were the big thing with the turtles and uh, certainly vocal harmony can nearly make a song can't it you've got some good vocal harmonies going on there you're well on the way to getting your music out there because people will just love vocal harmony 
Let's see if we can put a Beatles song together for you. Seeing as we've got ourselves uh, ensconced in the 60s this morning, haven't we? Let's see if we can do this one. reception this morning. I'll have to investigate that when I get a minute. The sound going in and out every now and then, eh? Or skipping. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I'm not sure what we can do at the moment to rectify that. Um, we might see if we can just limp across the line today. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of the Four Strong Wings song.
And if things are looking good, you could meet me if I sent you down the fair. But by then it would be winter, not too much for you to do. And those strong winds can blow cold way out there. Four strong winds that blow lonely, seven seas that run high. All those things that don't change, come what may. For the good times are all gone, and I'm bound for moving on. I look for you if I'm ever back this way four strong winds that blow lonely seven seas that run high all those things that don't change come what may still I wish you'd change your mind if I ask you one more time I'll look for you if I'm ever back this way. The song's called Four Strong Winds. And Four Strong Winds is a um, song by a fellow called Ian Tyson. Ian Tyson was um, in a very successful duo, Ian and Sylvia. They were a Canadian duo. And uh, they had a number of hits back in the days when um, folk songs were still making the charts. And we're talking here about the 60s, I suppose, in the early 70s. Uh, but Ian and Sylvia, they, they're well known in Canada, not so well known outside, but their hits are better known probably than they are, I venture to say. Anyway, that was called Four Strong Winds. And let's see what else I can find here in the book of tricks today. I'm not going to call it a box of tricks. It's a book of tricks. And uh, let's, just, let's just slow things down and have just a little bit of melody. Amor, the Song of Love, uh, retitled for the Elvis Presley version, Can't Help Falling in Love, with a very well-known classical melody. 
that one is. Okay. There's one that you'll know. Probably even be able to uh, join in. A couple of choruses, maybe. The song is uh, a Richard Rogers song called Blue Moon. morning of songs here. I'm just wandering through a couple of my books there, pulling out some tunes that might go over well. Well, I'm going to finish with this one today because today is uh, Bob Dylan's birthday. 
This is the 24th of May, and on the 24th of May 1941, Bob Dylan was born. And uh, since he had his first hits in the early 60s, he has been an incredibly influential songwriter. Uh, obviously, the Nobel Prize Committee people thought that he was a pretty worthy lyricist because they gave him the thumbs up a couple of years back, didn't they? Probably four or five years ago now. Uh, gave Bob Dylan the um, Nobel Prize for Literature, I'm thinking. Anyway, Bob is uh, suffering from a birthday today. He's turning 80. And so I wanted to end with a Bob Dylan song today. Um, how many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? I like to give it a little bit of a shuffly treatment, this one. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? How many times must a cannonball Big songs. Alone in the Wind. Peter, Paul and Mary had a hit with that, you remember? Anyway, that was my little sort of shuffly take on that. I like to put a little bit of a... I like to light a bomb under that song, get it moving along. Okie doke. Uh, until next week, folks, this is the end of our hour. And I'm going to sign off like I do often with a lines from Errol Garner's 1952 classic Misty
Greetings, everybody. Until next week, same time, same place. I'm saying uh, have a good week and ciao for now. Goodbye.